long time since I've seen you. Almost a week. Hi, Gigi. You're right, it has been a week. Well, what do we got in store tonight? Uh, I bet we should review a movie. Sounds like a good idea, too. Well, this week we've got the new movie by the Ken Hansen Project. <coughs> Their new movie <coughs> is entitled um, um, Sickle. It's a takeoff on Alfred Hitchcock's Cycle. It's a, a comedy, um, uh, a parody, parody comedy type of thing. And actually, I, I thought it was really <laughs> a bad film. Uh, <coughs> can I ask you, who does your hair? No, um, excuse me. I, I love that film. It was a, it was a past enigma of past realities. It was incredible. There's been nothing like it since, I don't know, the 60s. Let's face it, Gene, the movie was the pits. Oh, you know, I, I can't believe you told me that. Well, you tell me that every week. You well, must hate me. Let's face you it, make me feel bad. It no longer surprises me that you, that you come up with dribbles. I don't care. I just feel so bad. I'm well, depressed. In that case. Oh, oh no. That's it. I, I can't take it anymore. Um, excuse the uh, technical problems, but we seem to. Hey, Rodney, suffering from denture slippage these days? Why don't you try some Efferdin? I don't need Efferdin. I got a piece of meat stuck right here in my tooth. I don't need effort in that. Well, your dentures, they must be slipping. I don't wear dentures. Well, just give it a try, Rodney. I don't need effort in. I need a toothpick. <laughs> See, right here, there's a chunk of salami right there. Come on, you take the effort in. <laughs> well, you know, these days, these days, when you have a problem with effort in, just call us. We'll be sure we can help. Rodney, I got your new box of effort in. I do need evidence! And turn that off! I need a toothpick! You understand me? A toothpick! <laughs> Sign in on my register here. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, well, let's see here. My name is Mary Ann Bulbus. Oh, Mary. Bulbus. Can you spell that? B U L B O U S. From
Rodney Pinko, and in between those nasty scenes in The Sicko, I like to kill myself. And to do that, I've been working with Ted Baldini and his uh, executive board, and uh, we come up with just the thing. It's the Rodney Pinko and Suicide Sack. Pincone suicide sack. Here's how it works. It's made out of a tub, <laughs> polyurethane with fabricated bondage. See it? Once you're in it, you're stuck. This is the simple. Oh, yeah. If you're if you're the kind of person that just can't imagine yourself being shot because you might you know, miss or hurt yourself or even worse, and you can't take pills because you can't afford them, well, me and Ted Baldini got just a thing for you. This is how it works. It's got the automatic self-locking hinges. So when you put it on like this, you pull it in a place and it, you just pull this and it, it's, it's locked. I mean, wait a second. This guy's calling me again. This thing is, this thing, it's locked. It's, I can't chicken out now. <coughs> For, if you're a coward and you want to kill yourself, well, You're gonna be able to do it this because in a matter of seconds the breathing is adhered and well you you begin to uh well, 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 tip all D like you to know that for buying this in a garbage dumpster behind the restaurant. Oh, what restaurant? Perkins! What would you call it, health department? They've been there many times. They don't like it. They ain't going back. Why didn't someone tell me before? Nobody knew before. So what happened next? Did they take it away? Yeah, well, the garbage company came and they charged him extra. Well, they did, huh? Well, let's see, let's see if we can't put that on a city tab. I don't want to pay for that one. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I, I saw her leaving, Sheriff. They're going to knock that off. They're going to go blind. Going down to my office, 
and we just like him better. All right, well, what are we talking about? Here are something. Get the hell out of here. I've got him on fucking breakfast. I'll start some paperwork, Sheriff. Who are you? My name's Sam Blade, Private Eye. That's very good too. Oh yeah, eh? I got one of them too. Uh, oh, fuck it. Yeah. Go on in. Yeah. I'm, I'm here going. about an important matter, Sheriff. Just the wrong way up the door. Yeah, yeah. Fuck, important matter. What? Go oh, in. Sit down. Have a drink. Hospitable of you, Sheriff. Yeah, I, I don't spit in the hall, so. so. I, uh, I'm here about that murder. Murder? Oh, yeah, right. Fucking went wrong end, ain't I? Yeah. yeah. What was that woman's name? Marianne Gulmas? Uh, you got you got that one on me, my stupid deputy. He's come over this morning and he says, um, Sheriff, there's been murder. I said, good on, I'll do some paperwork. I just about to check into it now. I said, I got my coat on. Just about to go check into it. She's in the Perkins dumpster. Yeah, she ran out from her fiance. How long ago? Almost two weeks ago. I've been tracing her for her fiance and her sister. Really? And now I find out she's dead. Yeah, she's dead, all right. She's been, she been cut up. That's a maniac. Let me see now. She was staying at the, uh, the Hates Motel, correct? Where'd you get that information? I have my ways. Yeah, I, she might have been, but, you know, only one of the Hates Motel is Norman. He's over there all by himself. And Norman Hates, he, he runs it, and he's pretty harmless, a little soggy son of a gun. And I don't think he'd have anything to do with it, but... You I got, think I'm going to have to check it out nonetheless, Sheriff. Where'd you get your clues, boy? Are you withholding evidence from the law? Let's just say I have my ways. Sam Blade always gets his man. Okay, Sheriff, I'm scared. I'll be sure not to do that. I would run your ass out of this county so fast to make your little, little, little head spin. Yeah. yeah, and then you'll wake up. Oh, cut me down, boy. Yeah. Get your, get your ass out of here. We'll see who solves this murder. Oh, yeah, shit. Sure. Solve you, dude. You haven't yeah. seen the last of me. Yeah, right. I, it's my colonel knowledge here for a quick ad from our friends at the No Moo Oil Company. That's National Organization for Motor Oil Organics. The people that have learned to extract wonderful oil out of cows. And here to talk more about the subject tonight is Dr. Blaze Catelprod from No Moo Laboratories. Thank you, uh, Mr. Cownell Knowledge. Are you going to be of my assistance oh, today? Okay. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am Professor Catelprod, as you all know, from Nomu Industries. As we all know, famous athletes such as Jim Brown, O.J. Simpson, Telly Savalas, and even Michael Jackson have developed a serious metal con medical condition known as patellus lubricus. The condition causes great discomfort to the sufferer, and the inflammation fluid must be drained to regain comfort, movement, and <clears throat> sexual pleasure, of course. Through studies and infinite research we have done on these men, we have found that the fluid drained from the bulbous knee is very useful in all forms of lubrication. Now, as a capitalistic adventure, we have decided to use this form of lubrication as motor oil for your car, and thus, large quantities of the substance are required to meet the demands of the vastly growing market. We have purchased an excess of one million chemically dependent cows from various other research institutes. The process of lubrication production is quite simple. The cows are hung from the rafters of our labs, as you see here. Their knee tendons are slit, 
and the Wonderloo fluid is allowed to build up under the knees. The fluid is drained from the swollen knee, refined, and the lame cow is totally eliminated. The result is, as I may put it, the finest motor oil on the market today. For the time being, however, we at Nomu have one saying. We shall cut no tendon before it's time. Thank you for your time, ladies and gentlemen. Motel. Oh, that's the name of it, and if you noticed the sign when he came in. I'd like to ask you a few short questions about uh, Marianne Bulbus. Was she a resident here on the 17th? No, I never heard of the name before in my life. So you deny that she ever showed up at this instance? That's right. News to me, you know. I had nothing to do with her death. Where, what were you doing on the 17th, then? The 17th? That's the day after the 16th, right? Yeah, it was probably about at least 24 hours before the 18th, too. Never thought of that. Well, I can pretty much guess what you were doing. I was, I was, I was, uh, I had to help my mother. We were working on a puzzle. That's it. Your mother, is she here now? Can she verify that? Yes, but she's busy, and well, I gotta, I gotta get back to her. So you're gonna have to be leaving. Oh, so you're throwing me out, huh? No, I'm not throwing you out. I'm helping you to the door quickly. No, no I, I gotta, I gotta get back to my mother. I'm, I'm, I'm really busy today. Uh, what'd you say your name was? Uh, Sam Blade, and I always get my man or whatever it hey, is that I'm chasing. Shit, I don't even know who you are. This far as in here, I don't see no badges, no search warrants, nothing. Fine, fine, I'm leaving. Yeah, I know, and I'm not gonna get you. Sounds like beer in here. Drink it? <clears throat> I think it was Basically, you're an alcoholic. You have no idea where you are. You just come down here and you wrap in this hotel on it. Mother. Did you get that mess cleaned up? It's just a boat, Mother. Did you get that mess cleaned up, young man? I just forced that body in a perfect dumpster. Yes, Mother. Don't you be sarcastic to me, you little turd. Get that mess cleaned up right now. I'm doing I'm that right now, Mother. Just like the one back in Wrightsville. Right. All these 
you think I should give uh, Sheriff Bogus a call and see if he's found any yes. information about Mary? Oh, Mary Van, don't, don't worry, don't worry. I am so worried about it. It's been a whole week that I stripped from that private detective. First, my sister disappeared. Then the private detective. Oh, I'm just frantic. Don't, don't oh. worry, Claire, don't worry. Oh, please, call, call the sheriff. See what he has to say. Any information could be helpful. Oh, poor me, poor me. Sheriff Bogus, this is D.D. Herpes, Marianne Baldus' fiance. Yeah, have you heard any information? Huh. What about this uh, private detective that we sent down there? Have you seen anything of him? Hmm, that's interesting. All right, thanks a lot there, Sheriff Bogus. What did he say? What did he say? Well, the last he's uh, heard of uh, the private detective was that he was heading out to the Hates Motel. The Hates Motel? We passed as we came into town. Right. We should go there immediately. After I go to the ladies' room, and muff up my hair. Okay. on the desk. Oh, who knows? I was such a funny guy. Just, who cares about the hey, fire hey, proprietor? Hey. Fire proprietor, we need to have immediate attention. I'll wait here. You go outside and find him. Yeah, I'll, I'll oh, go Oh, Mr. Proprietor! Oh, Mr. Hayes! Where are you? Oh, Mr. Hayes! Mr. Hayes! Mr. Hayes! Mr. Hayes! Oh, where are you? Are you back there? Sheriff! Sheriff! There he is! Last to you! Look him! Come on down, further! Come on! Put the pedal to the metal! Where's Sheriff? No, he's gas. Are you on the way? They fucked the yield sign! Oh, Sheriff! Sheriff! Your door! Last to Don't fuck with it, man! We'll get him! 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 Oh, 
You're a fist of blow, get him. Hey, hey, you gotta stop. Stop! 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 Norman, you're finished. Done. No more. 
Hold it. Hold it. That's it. That's all right. Cut. Cut. We can't do this anymore. We're out. Get the, get the people to clean this up. We, what? What's going on? I ain't got more money. How about you guys? Hey! This was funded by the Baldini Corporation. They said they were going to give us all the money we could get for this. Yeah, shut up. Who are we? Just, come on, we're done with we're, The movie's over. We don't have any more money. I'm sorry. We're applying. Thank you, Ted Baldini. No money? Hey, he crapped out on us again. What did you expect? I don't care. I didn't Jeez. like this. Keep it rolling. Playing cowboy. This cowboy this, movie. Fuck this is really ridiculous, Cole. I, I just, I give up. Sorry, Cole. Uh, Too late, Cole. Wait. Come yeah, on, yeah, this. Yeah, the role is over. Fine, you can help clean up. Come on. Come on. Come on. Just hurry up. We ain't got no more money. What are we gonna do? We gotta bring this stuff back. Wait a second. Thanks, a tab. Yeah, nice guy. Cuts all off for our money. Wait a second. I'm not I'm not faking. This is uh, This is per hey wait. Uh, I stabbed myself. I've been mortally wounded. Uh no money? I need a doctor for the money. I'm not done yet. Got a few things to say.